Well, welcome back for fifth and sixth grade, and I hope we are doing marvelous this week with our anti-bullying prevention week. So, the next building block of our pyramid of success is alertness, which is the quality of being alert. In other words, some other words you might hear alert, and other words might be awareness, attentiveness, vigilance, and agility. And then, of course, I always have to have uh Finding George or Curious George on the top of the screen because he's always alert to finding new things. So today we're going to learn about alertness and we're going to figure out what's that got to do with our brain. So first off, when we talk about alertness, there are two parts of your brain that are activated. And the first one is your brain stem, which is in the back of your neck, right by your spinal cord. It's on the front side of it. And then your cerebellum, which is at the right back of your head. So those are the two brain parts that we will be talking about today about alertness. So what are the two? Okay, so brainstem is where it sends messages to different parts of the body. It also controls your breath, your blood pressure, your breathing, your heartbeat, and your swallowing. So it's like the main function that sends out direct messages to your body parts. Now, your cerebellum, on the other hand, is your muscle control. It controls your muscles, it controls your balance, your coordination, your attention, <laughs> your rhythm in your vestibular, which is your breathing, your lungs. Alrighty. So, with those in mind, let's critically think. Um, let me look at my quick, quick, quick notes real fast. Alrighty. So, when we talk about the brain, we're talking about the brain stem and the cerebellum, which gets you your attention. So your cerebellum gets the, oh, hey, look, alertness, alertness, the alarm goes off, and then it goes straight down to your brain stem, and that controls the rest of your body, of whether it's your blood pressure, your heartbeat, your breathing needs to change. So with that all being said, we're going to do a couple of fun brain games. Woohoo! So alertness test, here we go. So what is the mistakes that they have in common between the left pitcher and the right pitcher? I will give you guys a quick second to figure that out. Hmm. Alrighty, so if we would see the eyes and the mouth look a little different when we flop it upside down. So the eyes and the mouth are actually have been rotated upside down and that's why these young women look a little weird. But the eyes were already turned 180 degrees. Okay, how many holes in this t-shirt has? Focus in the alertness of the picture. How many holes? Alrighty, so some of you guys may have said six very first off. Okay, so we have six on the very first picture which is the neckline, the two hole lines, the part where you put your body through, and then it's got two holes on the t-shirt. Well, what we forget is that when you hold the t-shirt up, it's got two different layers. That means it creates two more holes on the back side from that second layer. So there is a total of eight. Okay, what would you name this tree? Hmm. Alrighty, so it really didn't matter what you named it. How many of you guys got sidetracked about seeing like a bird type figure on the branch? I had a hard time describing this tree because I just kept looking at the bird. I'm like, there's a bird in this tree. So your alertness went straight to the bird. Some of you guys did, some of you guys didn't, that's fine. But there is a bird in the tree that was camouflaged. Okay, can you manage this one in five seconds? Can you spot the difference? Okay, if you were not able to spot the mistake here, take a look. Did any of you guys recognize that they spelled the word spot twice? It took me 20 seconds before I managed to figure out this one. I kept going over and over the alertness already. In my brain, the cerebellum, the brain stem was just like whoop over the second word spot and it just kept going. So, hey, can you find Mr. Mike Mozowski in this picture of Toy Story with Woody? Hmm. 
Did you guys guess over here with him? Yeah, there's a lot of eyeballs on the page, so it may have been a little hard to find him, but he is there, I promise. Okay, before we move on with this, some alertness facts. So, like in my anti-bullying prevention uh, yesterday, we talked about how sometimes when people are laughing, like say if I were to tell you a joke and you're like, Miss Harp, that's not funny, but then the whole rest of the class would start laughing, you would laugh too. So 75% of people will begin to laugh even though they're not even sure what they're laughing about. Um, a couple of fun facts. The spinal cord is the main source of communication between the body and the brain. So the brain stem leads into the spinal cord. So it's one of your most main communications when we talk about attention and that's how it gets your body all in control, self-cooperation, self-control and ready to go. So. Last fun fact is, is do you know that the human brain can generate about 23 watts of power, enough to power a light bulb? It's kind of unfathomable to think that our head can generate that much power to light a light bulb. So like when you literally have a new idea and it goes, Bing, light bulb, it really, we can literally light a light bulb. Okay, so moving on to the next part of our alertness test. Um, some of you guys might think it's hard. Okay, we have a color palette here. What am I going to do? So now you need to spot the difference. So the next couple of slides, spot the difference. We are going to be learning about trichome or trichromads. And I'll explain that a little bit later, but see if you can't spot the difference, okay? And I think this one will be very easy. If you guys guessed five, you are correct. How about this one in this blue color palette? Which one is the different shade? If you guess seven, that is correct. Alrighty, so those first two slides, 96% of people get those correct. These next two slides, we will see. Spot the different color shade. Did you guess slide number five? If you did, awesome. Ooh, it's getting a little bit harder. Which one? Alrighty, if you guess number one, you are right. Now, the last two slides that we just did, 50% of people can get those correct. Hmm. Now it's getting even harder. Which one is different? If you guess number five, you are correct, my super stellar students. Oh, goodness, Miss Harp, why would you do this? None of them look different. Which one looks different? Which one looks different? Oh, my. If you guess number seven, you are correct. Oh my goodness, what are we doing here? I can't find a difference in this, but there is a slight difference. Can you try to find that one for me? If you guess number nine, you are correct. So on this round, only 30% of people can get those correct. And so when we talk about this kind of stuff, we are talking about trichromads, which is what most people have. And tri means three, which also means, let me unshare my screen. There I am. Alrighty. So trichromads is what most people have. It means three. That means we have three primary colors, which can be broken up into red, green, and blue. And each one of those red, green, and blue can break up into 100 shades of each color. So you can be able to identify 100 colors within red and within blue and then within green. Now, the average person, they say, can see about 1 million different shades of colors. Now, here's something to think about. Colorblind people can only see about 10,000 colors. And those are primarily like the whites, the grays, and the blacks, and maybe some color within. I've seen some people can see just blues with the whites, grays, and blacks, or brown, or even a yellow, or maybe just a green, but they don't get to see all the wonderful shades. So when we talk about trichromads with a colorblind person, the third trimat, or uh, words are getting really rough for Miss Harp right now. The third trichromad, blue, is taken away. So 100 of those blue shades are gone. So 
did you also know that animals and mammals can only see 10,000 colors too? It's almost like they are colorblind too. So be thinking about that when we are going through alertness, that it takes your whole brain, but primarily this back part of your brain, to be able to get your attention, to alert your equality to, yes, I am here. I am paying attention to you, teacher. I am here. So it takes a lot. It takes a lot from your brain, to your eyes, to your senses. So when we talk about attention, um, remember your senses, your sight, your smell, your taste, your touch and your sound all have to be visibly present. And that's why when we do our brain, your cerebellum and your brain stem are used constantly. And so that was our quick, short and fun lesson of alertness. So we will see you guys next week. But I also want to say congratulations guys on making it through our awesome anti-bullying week. We will still continue to celebrate on Thursday and Friday Thursday is where your tie-dye slash neon colors because kindness has many different colors. And then Friday is show your school spirit by wearing purple. So I hope you guys do a marvelous job. I can't wait to hear from you guys. My email is out there if you ever need to talk to someone. So, and I'll see you next week. All right. Bye.